<laughs> it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm at the Barry Beer Festival 2019, sponsored by the Barry Round Table and lo lots of local businesses. And I'm with the Scapegoat Brewery, a new brewery for me from the Vale of Glamorgan, where, where I live in the UK. And we're joined by Scott and James. Nice How are you doing, guys? Great, thank, thank you. Thanks thank you. For you. you all right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I came in here this morning about 12 o'clock. Um, as soon as the afternoon turns, turns, comes along, it's time for a beer, I suppose. Of course. Isn't it, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and um, Barry over there said, "You got to try this. You got to try this stout." So I had a little bit of this stout. I was like, wow, this is fantastic. Uh, you've come. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'll say come an hour later, and I'm here to talk about your brewery and more specifically th yep. this beer. Should we start? We'll do a little beer review. We'll get into the little bit, and then we'll talk about what you're about. Yep. When you started and Excellent. and whatnot, is it? So, first of all, beer in the glass. Looks fantastic. Oh, what's the ABV on this one? It's 4.5. 4.5% 4 ABV. Uh, we got a one finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass. Aroma. Now, I mentioned earlier on, I asked you, have you put any kind of like cacao nibs or anything like, anything like that in the beer? And you were like, no, it's just roasted malt. There's a lovely aroma of like an espresso coffee. And that just comes from the, the roasted malt. Just from the yeah. roasted malt, yeah. 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 So we put uh, a little bit of wheat to retain the head. Yeah. Um, but yeah, chocolate malt and the roasted body is the main two. Really, really good. What do you think? You're you're a bit of a stout lover. What do you think? Of yeah, the really nice. Yeah, I had it for the first time yesterday, and um, just a, it's just the smell when I was pouring one. I was like, I'll have some of that. So it's really, really it's nice. terrific, isn't it? You, yeah. you definitely get that even in the aroma, that kind of that that lactosey creaminess. Mm. It's like the oats or lactose, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But you I did a, we did a lot of research into stout because it's our favourite beer. Um, yeah. We travelled far and wide. Yeah. It's very uh, Moorish as well. I'm a fan. <laughs> of stout. Mm. I'm a fan of stout. Yeah. yeah, we came to the conclusion that milk stout was something we wanted to, to, to brew. Yeah. If no one else likes it, then at least we get to drink it. So uh, <laughs> everyone's happy. Brilliant. Let's, um, I'm going to dive into this one. I'll try it, yeah? Cheers. First thing you get, um, I, I've seen this from a keg, but you can definitely get the sense of this being from a keg. It's lovely, creamy, nice depth to it. A nice chill to it as well. That's yeah. what you get with keg beer. Yeah. A nice kind of, a nice slightly chill beer, which you need that, don't you? The session. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> nice chill on it, just yeah. to, just to, yeah. I mean, not overly chilled. If it goes below 4%, uh, the four degrees even, you start to lose hops and you start to lose the malts. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you get a haze to it as well, don't you? Which, yeah. which is no good. Yeah. What I reckon this is about five or six to our viewers. Five or six degrees, yeah. would you say? Must be, yeah. Must be, yeah. And that's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. But then moving on to the flavours, or, or first of all the mouthfeel, nicely, nicely carbonated beer, the beer washes around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's a rich kind of mouthfeel of chocolate, coffee, caramel, um, espresso coffee. And then there's a nice bitterness on the end. What hops did you use um, to uh, bitter it's the Fugles um, and the Challenger. Challenger and Fugles, so traditional British hops then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, you know, being a milk stout. Of course, the, uh, yeah, yeah. To, to try and replicate a, a British milk stout. Yeah, it, it's a really, really good, I'm really impressed by this beer, guys. I'm really okay, impressed. Was well, it your first beer? Uh, one, the, of, one of, of yes. Yeah, um, yeah. This is what will be available all year round if you'd like to do seasonal things as well. But um, you know, as with the APA, this is one of our core beers. Right. It will be available for you. I'll try that next, the APA. Okay, so that was the quick beer review. Terrific beer. Just off, uh, just as a quick beer review, I'm going to give that a, a 9 out of 10. That's a really good example of a, a milk style. Well done, guys. It's really good. Um, so the brewery. A scapegoat brewery. I spoke to many brewers over the years. Was this a maybe a, after a few beers <laughs> in a bar, written on the back of a a, 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 a bar mat? You like? Let's think of a name. Or, was it that? Type it sounds of like we don't have to get the answer. Yeah, uh, it was absolutely. Yeah, we were sat drinking. Um, I think it was stout. We were drinking yes, at the time, actually. Yeah. And we wanted a fun name because drinking should be fun. Yeah. Um, so we thought, well, a pun. 
would be fun. So we yeah we took the word scapegoat and thought air scapegoat, but also the point of the escape bit is we want the beer should be escapism as well. Yeah. So it should be taking you somewhere else. So what we want to be doing is brewing beers with it, like a hint of a taste that takes you somewhere else. Yep. So that was the idea of the uh, scapegoat pun, bit of fun in it, and also the like, kind of escapism. But I like your branding as well. It's really yeah, nice. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of it's nice to say to people. Uh, one of the things I, I, I know these days is when you go into either a bar or a bottle mm. shop, there's so much competition these days. Your beer needs to stand out, yeah, doesn't it? And I yeah. like that. That, yeah. that really kind of that grabs you, yeah. that, that branding. Um, when did you start? Uh, well, I mean, the first initial conversation was, I think, April, May time. Yeah. Um, this year? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Although we've been talking about doing it for years, for years, years, yeah, yeah. years um, but it's actually doing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, I okay. think we had that 1.2 many and we <laughs> went through it. It is brilliant, it's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, you've got, I, I still think there's room for many breweries, yeah. especially in the yeah. South Wales yeah. area. I think there's loads of room. We're still booming as an industry. Yeah. As you can see here, there's, there's people interested. We're going to do some Meet the Brewer events yeah. in a bit. And it's all about educating. Absolutely. It, it's moving away. Let, let's let's cover a, a dark bit of stout. Yeah. It's about moving people away yeah. from Guinness. Exactly. And, and it's about and working together in that, isn't it? Not competition between. You know, I was I was, you know, around several bars last night, little local ones yeah. in the Canton area. You know, g- giving them money back. You know, it's not um, sort of competition between, is it? The St. Canazale House. Is that where you were? I mean, one of the places I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in on Thursday night right, in, right. in the Great Welsh Beer and Cider yeah, Festival, yeah, judging. Yeah. What's his name? I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he's welcome to put it on though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure he would. I mean, if you went in there with a barrel, list, I'm sure yeah. he'd take it off you. Um, so you started this year. Um, yep. What are your, you've got an APA, American Pale Ale. American Pale Ale, we have a Pilsner uh, and then the milk stand. I'll be interested to try a Pilsner. I've discovered Pilsner this year, it's been my, I've almost gone full circle. Mm. I spent 10 years drinking bitters, then, yeah. then, then American style, yeah. New England IPAs, yeah. and this year I found, I've fallen in love with really good Pilsner. Yeah. I think there's really uh, a little revol- yeah. Pilsner revolution. Yeah. Yeah. Good summer drink as well, it's yeah. refreshing. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I'm, what do you think of the beer? Do you like it? I really like it. It's so smooth. We were saying this yesterday. Just it's. I've had uh, quite a few stouts, and sometimes they're a bit too heavy. Yeah. It's actually quite light, uh, but still has that really deep, rich flavour, which is, yeah. a, is a nice change. Lovely. It's and it's a stout that you feel like you can drink all day. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't feel yeah. full after. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. some blue cheese in there. So you feel full. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Like <laughs> So you've got a Pilsner, American Pale Ale, and this wonderful milk stout. Milk stout yes. w- what's your plan? Oh, first of all, brewery size. What you... uh, so at the moment, we are going to breweries and saying, can you brew us this recipe? So we're, 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 oh, you're yeah, good. Oh, gypsy yeah. brew. Gypsy, Wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, but there's a next step, isn't there? There is a next step, <laughs> yeah. We, we more than want to have our own with a tap yeah. room. Yeah, that, is yeah. our, that is our goal. And we're actively looking now. Yeah. Phoning up farmers, so on, looking yeah. for old milk containers yeah, and yeah. that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked. It's, uh, it's yeah. in progress. I've seen many brewers, yeah, and it's the best way. It's, it's, it, and it's a, it's a way of upcycling as well, yeah. isn't it? We experiment with flavours ourselves as well, so a bit of home brewing to experiment and, you know, yeah, before yeah, we go course. to the brewers. Yeah, so yeah. 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 Well, I, I think you, you, you're on to a winner. I really <laughs> think you're... I've, I've drunk five and a half thousand beers and, and I like the branding, I like the beer. I think... Do you mind me out? Do you mind saying where you're currently used for brewing this? Uh, there's stout? one in uh, London. Oh, you're yeah, yeah, in yeah, London? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, um, OK. And there's one in Bailey B. Morgan as well. Um, that, that didn't quite work out. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know. great, great. But, uh, so you we want to keep it local. Brewery. When we get the, the oh, animal yeah. set up, we want it to be local as well. That's part of the point. Yeah. yeah. And as I mean, this is the first the uh, and first Barry Beer Festival. I can't count the words. It's a long word. A begins with a uh, and something. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> an old girl. Right. That's it. Yeah, the yeah, first. Yeah, well, this yeah, is the old, first yeah. an old girl Barry Beer Festival. We might be looking at this video in ten years' time. Thinking, wow, we're, look how far this, this festival's come. Um, as far as the Barry Wrong Table comes, um, it's nice to have breweries in. I mean, they're supporting you, you're supporting them. It's great, it's great to, to, I mean, we can look back in years to come when it, we're all kind of yeah. massive breweries yeah. yourself yeah. and, and yeah. you've got a great big festival yeah. and millions we'll sponsor of sponsor the event in the future. Yeah, it's been really good, like, yeah. to, um, yourselves included, all the yeah. local brewers and stuff, yeah. they've been really supportive yeah. when we've reached out. It's all about. Yeah. yeah, and it is, yeah. like you say, it's everyone working yeah. together. It should be yeah. a family, shouldn't it, brewers? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's been really but, uh, you know, the moment it stops being fun. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, um, plans going forward, are you looking to go down the route of selling to a lot of pubs locally? 
Are you, are you going to plan to hit the supermarkets? Do you want to stay out of the supermarket? <laughs> yeah, we're not so much going for that route at the moment. Yeah. Obviously, times may change, but at the moment, it's just getting our name brand yeah. and the beers that we do yeah. have available. And make sure there's good beers out yeah. there so that, you know, it's first impressions, isn't it? So get yeah, the absolutely. beers out there, make people yeah. like yeah. the beers, get the yeah. branding out there. Yeah. But, um, like Scott said, we're actively seeking for a premises. Yeah. Brilliant. So, um, in, in Barry? Yeah. We're, we're, we're from Barry. Uh, yeah. The Barry yeah. Cardiff yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. Um, and beers going forward, what, what plans? I bet you've got a load written on the back of a More beer. stouts for yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More stouts. We've got um, uh, brewing a Munich Dunkel at the moment. Ooh, um, so, yeah. Uh, it's a little dunkel. bit late to come out, but yeah. you know, yeah. uh, And I've just finished off uh, Belgian beers. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put a request in? Yeah. Can you do an Imperial version of this? Yeah, yeah obviously. obviously. Yeah, yeah. 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 We had a couple on Thursday, yeah. was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, we were at the, at the beer festival, funny enough. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we had a couple there, didn't we? Yeah. we did. And we did yeah. say them, we need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Imperial version, that would be yeah. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. See what oh, we'll do that. Malt, mash, whatever. <laughs> we'll let you know. All the very best for the future, Thank guys. you very much. Thank yeah. you for having us. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you and very much. First beer festival here in Barry. Yeah. I think we'll be talking in 10 years' time with grey hair mm. and, and bent over back. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll That's be, definitely the hope. <laughs> yeah. we'll be, and there'll be thousands of people around us. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So the crows. Cheers.